What's up guys? What is really, really good? Welcome to my first official video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cover my vitiligo. Hopefully these steps are pretty simple, straightforward and easy. I hope you enjoy. First up, I'm going in and priming my skin with my Derma Blend Glow Creator and it's a multi-use liquid highlighter. I love this product because it just makes my skin look glowy and very, very, very nice. <laughs> so I'm just going in with that and just spreading that evenly all over my face. It just feels super smooth. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator. It's also one of my favorites. It's just so nice, so flawless, super smooth, super glowy. I'm just gonna add that as well, just to give my skin a nice, illuminous look. Sometimes I skip this step, but most times I don't. Look at that. Then I'm gonna go in with all my favorite foundations. So that's the YSL Touche Eclat Arale Hopasse Da Right. And I'm just gonna spread that evenly all over my face. I'm in shades B70. Then I'm gonna go in with this bad boy here. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. If you've been following my Snapchat for a long time, you would know that this is my baby. Love it gonna put that over as well simply because I have to mix my foundations I have a very awkward skin tone it's not so fair and it's not so dark so most times I always have to do that and this is my favorite brush for foundation it's my Sigma I think it's the F80 flat kabuki I will double check and put that in the description box below I love this brush so so much I don't really use beauty blenders that much anymore simply because beauty blenders tend to drink up my foundation or my concealer i feel like it kind of takes layers away and i like my foundation to be sitting right on my skin now this is key key let it key this is key product key product now this is what we're going to use to cover up my vitiligo this is the derma blend cover cream i've got various shades derma blend was so amazing to send me out some of their creams and translucent powders thank you so much derma blend and as you can see the product is quite sturdy quite thick and super easy to cover up pigmentation however today i'm going to also go in with the mac studio finish concealer is rather the bomb it is the bomb if mac ever stopped doing this product guys i don't know what i'm gonna do but um derma blend products are quite hard to get in the uk so if you can't get your hands on that this is gonna do the job for you as well as you can see i'm going in with nc50 which isn't actually my my um, actual tone however i find when covering my vitiligo i have to go for a darker darker shade i feel like anything brighter will bring it out more and when you conceal this area with a shade that's not so light it makes it super easy to cover up the vitiligo and i'm slowly well not slowly but <laughs> i am pressing it on my skin with my concealer brush and i'm letting it just sit right on top of the skin i'm not going in with a beauty blender and you're going to see how i blend it out i'm not going to blend it out with a beauty blender if you use a beauty blender to blend this out you're going to be wiping the product away so all your hard work is just going to go in vain so don't do that don't use the beauty blender don't do it um brushes are my best friends right now like i probably only use a beauty blender to set my makeup with my translucent powder i literally have been using brushes all this while it's my current routine and i love it i love it so yeah don't sleep on this concealer it's amazing some people don't use it under the eye because it creases but you just kind of have to know how to use it and know how to set it um yeah one of my favorites love this product boom that's it now 
I'm gonna go in, well, I was gonna use my Maybelline concealer in shade nude however i was running low so i'm gonna serve that for another day i'm gonna go in with my nars creamy concealer in the shade biscuit y'all know this is the real deal this concealer is bomb nars really knew what they were doing they really really knew and a lot of i've been through so many concealers in my time and 50 or 60 percent of them crease and this beauty right here is just one of the best super hydrating doesn't dry the under eye i'm combination dry skin and my under eyes are super sensitive they dry out so much especially with vitiligo like my eye area is super sensitive and i'm just going to go along my forehead bridge of my nose and i'm just going to highlight the areas that i want to pop you know when the sun hits sorry not the sun you know when the light hits your face and those hair areas just be popping that's the look i'm going for and i'm gonna take this brush it's so dense and it allows the product to just sit right on top and blends out seamlessly love it now like i said before i used to use the beauty blender to do this part of my routine and i stopped because i thought i realized that the beauty blender was just kind of like wiping away so every time i was dabbing and dabbing and dabbing it was taking away everything that i put on so i ended up using loads of loads more concealer and it was just ugh, all my vitiligo just peeping through and i tell you it was just very much it was a lot and i've had vitiligo for about seven years now and i've been doing this routine for the longest and i have changed my routine many many times and this is my current one and it works for me it's super easy super quick it used to take me ages to do my makeup but now because i know what i'm doing it's super quick and as you can see it's just blended it out seamlessly and I'm just going in again with more of that Studio Finish Concealer in NC50. And I'm just going over the areas which I may have missed. I'm such a perfectionist. Um, I really should ease off on that. However, <laughs> I'm just going over that and just making sure everywhere is covered. Because if you're going to cover it, you're going to cover it. And if you're not going to cover it, you're just going to rock it as it is. And if you know me, you'd know I go through my stages. I would go through times where I'm fully glammed or where I've got nothing at all on. Going in with my baby, Sigma. Y'all need to get some Sigma brushes. Do not sleep on them. Do not kid yourself. Do not kid yourself. These Sigma brushes are fire from the dimensional collection all the way through to the face brushes and the eyeshadow brushes love them sigma thank you so much for always making sure that my kit is stuck up with your brushes i'm so grateful and so happy that you sent me these brushes they are seriously bomb.com i'm gonna put my sigma discount code below for you guys to get 10% off your purchases and again I'm going in with my Sigma brush to blend out my concealer under my eye and I'm telling you like it just makes things so much easier because my hands aren't getting dirty my nails aren't super dirty the brushes do all the work and when I'm using these brushes it just allows the product to sit on the skin like as you can see I'm not wiping away from everything that I've created come on now people let me get you onto this if you don't know let me get you onto this if you don't know boom boom this is one of my favorite powder foundations guys oh my god i i don't think i can be able to live without this product okay and this is by urban decay guys and this is their ultra definition powder foundation i wear shades medium dark golden this stuff is super lightweight does not dry i'm gonna take my huda beauty foundation brush i love this brush because it's angled it's very dense it gets under my eye it gets around my whole face you're gonna see he's just wonderful and um, 
the denser the brush the easier the product is just gonna sit on the skin you can see it's not wiping away all my hard work it's just setting what I've done and you see how easy it just goes under the under eye it's just the best routine I've discovered for myself and it just makes my application process so much easier so much easier and yeah I love it I love it you know I'm just telling you guys all my favorite stuff that work for me and I'm the kind of person if I use something and I feel like I have to put in continuous effort to make it to make that product work I kind of come to the conclusion that you know what I'm not gonna use you again I'm just gonna put you to one side and then maybe maybe just maybe if I love that brand I will give that product another go I'll use it in a different way and I'll give it another go and if it still doesn't work then you're going in the dustbin sorry so yeah that's my one of my favorite powder foundations like i have not stopped using this product since forever just looks like skin it's weightless it's beautiful i've got other foundation powders i think maybe one more that i really liked um i'll put you guys onto it but don't sleep on that powder and that's my derma blend loose setting powder in the shade original i think it's called and i'm just going to set my under eye very quickly with this i don't bake due to dry under eyes um, I do drink loads of water but you know it still doesn't help I'm going in with my cover effects contour brush to set my under eye just a little bit and that does the job that's all you need well for me that's all I need all I need such a beauty i'm also going to set my lids as well just slightly and you can see how little i am using on my face because i still want to leave that luminous look on my face i don't want to cake my face with translucent powder and the the areas of my face that i want to highlight i'm then going to go in with my derma blend powder to set these areas and i'm going to leave it on there just for a little while and that's my along my forehead my really huge forehead down the ridge of my nose and around my mouth and I'm gonna leave that to set and do its thing then I'm gonna go in with this bad boy the Fenty Beauty truffle stick we're gonna use this to contour when this launched I was like okay how am I gonna use this product it's quite creamy um having vitiligo if I swipe that across my cheekbone it's literally gonna wipe everything away but guys this is this is the way that I have found how to use it just take a banging brush wipe it across the product and boom boom and I love it I love I love this stick so much it's so warm I love it then I'm gonna set it with my Too Faced dark chocolate Soule bronzer I love this product so much like I've been using it for forever and I don't think I've ever exchanged it for another bronzer it's just so warm and beautiful honestly I do also go through the NARS casino bronzer that's one of my other favorites but that one honey comes out you know when you got that nice hot date yeah that's when you bring that one out then going in with another translucent powder that's the YSL powder as well this is, a, this is another gorgeous powder um, sometimes I like to go in with this as well that's quite got more of a yellow base that's got quite of a more of a yellow base and because um, I'm quite yellow so it kind of brings back the yellowness into my face so sometimes I put that on top of my derma blend powder I'm just contouring my nose just a little bit and this bad boy oh my god this is the Sephora micro smooth powder foundation I got this when I was on holiday in America and I thought let me try this out I've heard brilliant reviews with it and I loved it I loved it it's super smooth I try not to pull it under my eye because it has like tiny particles of shimmer and sometimes when it's placed under the eye it doesn't leave a what can I say it doesn't leave a like a super smooth finish under my eye so I tend to just buff it all around my face and guys oh my god 
if you're ever in Sephora, just pick one of them up. They're beautiful. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers on here, Alyssa Ashley, swears by it and yeah, she knows what she's talking about. Major inspo, she's the bomb. And that's my Maria Badescu. Did I say it right? I don't know if I said it right, but I'm gonna squirt this bad boy all over my face. And this product just takes away the powdery look and just allows my skin to come through. Then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter. Maybelline, if you're watching this, thank you so much, so much for releasing a product like this. Um, I got this at Walmart in LA when I went last year and it was like $10 and that's like super cheap in pounds and yeah it's gorgeous it's not it's gold but it's not too gold it's not too silver it's not ashy it's be it's beautiful it's so beautiful and i'm gonna put on my hood of beauty lashes and my favorite style scarlet guys let me tell you about the lashes right when i put these lashes on yeah they elongate is that the word they elongate my eyes i've got super tiny eyes so they really just oh oh i love it i think these are one of my favorite lashes from the whole collection and that was in the style scarlet they're lovely they're gorgeous they get longer and wispier towards the end and they complement any look they go with any look any look so they're my favorite lashes from Huda Beauty. And here goes my baby. Oh my god, guys. I don't know. I just whenever I put this lip gloss on, I feel like a superstar. I feel like a real superstar. This is the Shantai Kai. This is the Shanta Kai Brilliant Gloss. This is the shade Lucky. It's like off a goldy nude it is major <laughs> i love it you see how nice it gives you see that my my lips just look natural they look plump this gloss is beautiful it's just full of ingredients like you can feel your lips plumping it's beautiful one of my favorite glosses from the Shantakai collection and there you have it guys that's the completed look i just took some eyeshadow um some eyeshadow from the urban decay heat palette and i just ran that across my waterline and that's it natural easy natural easy everyday look i hope you enjoyed this and i've got many more to come so stay tuned and keep checking on your girl guys this is my first video so please subscribe to my channel leave your comments below any questions you have let me know i'll get back to you Love you so much. Thank you for all your support.